Hi guys, welcome back. Subscribe to my channel and also click on the bell icon to turn on the notifications so that you won't miss any of my videos in the future. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can make your own eye cream or eye serum at home. This recipe is super easy and super effective. This is also very good for your wrinkles if you have wrinkles around your eyes like if you have started seeing fine lines around your eyes then this recipe is super good for you guys try this recipe and i'm 100 percent sure that you will definitely see results okay so this is very easy you only need few ingredients like only three simple ingredients the first important ingredient is aloe vera gel uh, this is 99% uh, aloe vera gel. Uh, you can easily find aloe vera gel nowadays. It's very easily available. You can uh, take any brand or if you have fresh aloe vera at home, then you can use that gel. Uh, fresh aloe vera gel you can use, but you will have to store this eye cream in the fridge. You, have, you will have to refrigerate it and you will have to use it up within three days. And then I'm 100% sure you all will be having this ingredient at home. This is Vaseline. Yes, Vaseline is very effective for your under eye dark circles or fine lines or wrinkles or anything. Vaseline is a superhero. Like it is a superhero ingredient. And last but not least, you will need some kind of oil like I prefer vitamin E oil. If you have vitamin E capsules, that small capsules, you can take one capsule, you can pop it and you can use uh, in this serum or cream, whatever you call. Or if you don't have vitamin E capsule, I ran out of my vitamin E capsule. So I'm going to use ojoba oil. This is ojoba oil. This is also very good for your under eyes. And if you don't have ojoba oil, you can go for almond oil. Almond oil is very, very good for your uh, under eyes. Like it contains high amount of vitamin E. So, and it's very good for wrinkles and pigmentation or anything under your eyes, you know, it's very good. First of all, what you need to do is take a container like this okay this is my old um, eye cream bottle so i'm taking this and then i have cleaned it properly as you can see i have cleaned it with soap and water first okay then you have to sterilize it okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use uh rubbing alcohol this is rubbing alcohol 100 percent rubbing alcohol this can sterilize the bottle so what you have to do is I prefer using this method because it's so much easier and very effective. So I'm going to take a cotton, or cotton like this. I'm going to take the alcohol, okay, and then simply wipe it, wipe it all over, okay. Make sure your hands are clean, okay. First, your hands should be clean. I just washed my hands. So my hands are clean and using the rubbing alcohol, you can just wipe it clean. So this is sterilized. It's very simple. Also go ahead and uh, wipe the lid also. You have to sterilize the lid as well. Cleaned it. So now this is clean and it's ready to use. So that's simple. You can buy rubbing alcohol from eBay, Amazon, it's very easily available. You can just buy it online and it is very important to have rubbing alcohol at home right now in this COVID situation. If you have rubbing alcohol, then if you don't have it, then buy it and keep it because this is very useful. Uh, if you go out and come back, if you want to wipe anything, you can just use some rubbing alcohol. You can just pour it in a cotton ball and rub it all over and it's clean, you know. So I always keep this at home. I'm also going to rub the spoon so that it's clean. Take aloe vera gel and start pouring it. Okay, not to the full, but almost 75% you can fill it, okay? So that's 
this is the one so next I'm going to take a Vaseline take the Vaseline and take a small spoon like this if you are using a teaspoon then use a very small amount you don't need much of it just need a bit like that's it that's all you need this much Vaseline I'm using a stick to mix it So I have put the Vaseline in there. I hope you can see it. I'm going to mix it. Mix it well, okay? You have to mix it thoroughly. Aloe vera gel smells so nice. Okay, so I have mixed it well. It will turn white. So this is how it should look. Now, take ojoba oil okay I always use organic ojoba oil take the ojoba oil and pour like five to six drops of it that's it if you're using vitamin E capsule then use one full vitamin E capsule but if you're using uh, ojoba oil or um, or if you're using uh, almond oil then use five to six drops so mix it well again should be thoroughly mixed okay that's it it's ready to use see that so it's very simple to use i've already washed my face i've done my skincare uh, so you can apply your eye cream right before you apply your moisturizer or you can actually apply eye cream even after applying your moisturizer both the ways it's okay so what you need to do is just take that much always use your ring finger to apply uh, eye cream any eye products putting very less pressure okay just do that very cooling this serum is very cooling for your eyes just massage it okay just massage it just very don't put any pressure put very light pressure okay don't put any pressure you have to be very gentle just massage it for uh, around one to two minutes that's enough also do this like pat it under your eyes for maximum absorption for quick absorption you can just pat it by the way guys one tip use this on your lash also because it's this is also very good for your eyelash growth. Just massage it like this. It's very cooling. You will feel so relaxed when you do this. It's so relaxing. I love it. I'm sure these ingredients are very easy to find. You might already have these ingredients at home. So please try this at home and let me know how it went, how you felt, how uh, how effective it was okay you have to apply it morning and night okay morning when you do your skincare apply this and at night before going to bed okay apply this and you'll definitely see a difference in just less than a week you will start seeing a huge difference so that's it for this video guys i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did then please give a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and also click on that bell button so that you will be notified immediately when i release a video so that's it bye guys love you